driver cards for undocumented immigrants in Oregon. A debate believed settled in 2013 and brought up for public vote last November. Two out of three Oregonians said no. Is now at the center of a class action lawsuit. Last Wednesday, the Oregon Law Center sued the state on behalf of five individuals and two nonprofits. Measure 88 does away with the 2013 Safe Roads Act. The executive director of a nonprofit out of Salem explains the suit questions the constitutionality of Measure 88. On whether or not the the state of Oregon can treat a certain group of individuals different from the rest of Oregon residents. Andrea Miller says it also focuses on clauses under the 14th Amendment. Which guarantees equal protections and due process for all residents in the United States, regardless of immigration status. 88 requires the Department of Motor Vehicles to screen for immigration status. Critics say that's the federal government's job. District 6 Representative Sal Esquivel, a sponsor of Measure 88, says the responsibility lands on the hands of state leaders. The fact of the matter is these drivers are already on the road, well, driving these drivers illegally. Are, these drivers are here illegally. Exactly. So if these drivers are here illegally, according to what I've read, it's against the United States law. So therefore, we're supposed to, when we're elected officials, we're supposed to we swear we uphold the laws and the Constitution of the United States and the state of Oregon. While supporters of these cards argue they'll increase road safety through insured and tested drivers, and opponents say undocumented immigrants shouldn't have the privilege to test for them, both sides agree on one thing. Only time and the legal system will tell whether an estimated 120,000 undocumented people in Oregon can test for this card. Covering your news in Medford, Jessica Denova, News 10.